We want to make sure you are prepared in case severe weather were to break out in our area. So severe weather preparedness guru John Van Pelt of Energizer's Storm Education Team joins me now with a look at uh, some storm survival tips. And uh, John, it's, it's the idea that if you have a kit prepared and ready to go when this happens, you're going to be in really good shape. What do you, what do you got here for us? Then? That's true. Well, one of the things we talk about, you know, the Missouri starting to flood now. Flooding yeah. is one of the one of the biggest threats. It's the biggest killer worldwide in weather-related uh, disasters. And flooding is the easiest one to prepare for, especially river flooding. True. We see it coming. We can get away Absolutely, from it. Absolutely, yeah. And whether you're going to stage at home or you're going to leave, you can have a pack stuffed with things you need to take with your family, and they'll all fall down live when you do it. Uh, <laughs> but we want to make sure if you're going to stay at home or if you're going to leave, right. you have water, about a gallon a day per person. Right. You want to make sure you have easy-to-prepare foods and some mm -hmm. comfort foods to make yourself feel better because you'll be under stress whether the disaster's coming and yeah. you're going to stay or you're going to leave. Yeah. So we've got a pack with plenty of batteries, flashlights, a weather radio, and an AM-FM radio. Yep, and you know what, John, I've really liked to see on these radios lately is the fact that a lot of these you can hand crank now. Yep, your you are right your own generator now. So it'll run off energizers, yep. and if they go, you've got your crank. And Beautiful. the biggest thing we try to push as part of plan, prepare, protect with energizers is mm -hmm. batteries for everything, including the flashlights. But get a NOAA weather radio if you don't have one, Absolutely. because it's like a smoke detector for severe weather. So when the da danger's coming, it'll let you know. Yeah, you're good to go. The kits have things in them like blankets. You want to make sure this is just a little emergency blanket. You fold it out, and if you really need it, this will keep you warm when you need to. Now, see, those are things people probably don't think a lot about. A lot of things. Whistle. People don't think about that, but if you're in a situation like in that terrible Greensburg tornado Absolutely. and you're in debris, yep. it's a way to get attention. Gloves, if you have to clear stuff from around the house mm -hmm. or wherever you are, you don't want to tear your hands up. So. This is a brilliant invention, and I see this in a lot of the stores now and online, too. Tell us a little oh, bit about yeah. this. This is the energy to go, and I've yep. got my own phone here. You just plug this into your cell phone. Yeah. And it charges your phone and lets you talk even on a totally dead cell phone that battery. That's so cool. And it's two double A's in there, right? Two double A's. So you have two of the brand new lithium uh, double A's in there. Wow. And the batteries, what's cool about these is these batteries are impervious to heat and cold. So you can throw it in the glove compartment yeah. or whatever. 30 below, it'll work. 130 degrees, it'll work. Amazing. And, John, of course, flashlight, first aid kit, uh, sure. all vital uh, things to have in your store. Prepared Energizer's got some of these new lights this yeah. year. Crank light. You talked about being able to be your own generator. This will yeah. do that. That's excellent. A month and a half the use out of a single set of batteries on one of these. How so. oh, about that, John? We're Great running stuff. out of time. Great tips. We're going to have more on this on our website, too, at KMOV.com. Always have good storm preparedness tips there. That's uh, John from Energizer helping us out this morning. Mark, Virginia, some good tips. Yeah, good information. Good ideas. Thanks, Thank you.